It's Entomology Animated, celebrating the amazing biology of insects using the power of digital animation. Ding. In this chapter, I'm going to talk about how I blocked out or started this part of the model right here that you see. This is obviously much later on after I've created a lot of detail and color and so on. But uh, this video just shows how I sort of started blocking it out. Also, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my friend Gil, who's got a great website. Um, this is where I ordered my own molt, which I'm using for reference. So it already came framed, but he's got some great pictures uh, of this organism on his website as a, and a lot of other great pictures of other organisms. So he's a great photographer, uh, very informed and interesting biologist. So uh, check him out. So let's take a look at that block out for that section of the model. Okay, so I've separated the bottom of the cephalothorax. This is the mouth and the part where the legs come out from underneath the body. And it's its own subtool, it's its own mesh. I'm using DynaMesh for those of you who are ZBrush users. Um, as I sculpt on this, so I'm treating it just like a blob of clay. And I'm using the Damien Standard brush, the Move brush to move parts around. Uh, smooth and the H polish brush and just kind of dialing in the different parts of this surface. I'm going to keep this as one single surface. It doesn't need to be separated. This I believe is the book lungs. That's what it looks like. It reminds me of the opening for book lungs on the bottom of spiders. And then there's some other details here. I'm not exactly sure what their function is. It's something I need to look up for sure. Uh, but I'm using the Damien standard brush to kind of just carve in these sort of separation lines here that I see when I'm looking at my reference photography and then creating a space for where the legs come out. There's that long spiky thing just below the mouth, which looks terrifying. I'm not exactly sure of its function, but I'm, I'm assuming that it use, it's being used to pin prey while it feeds it into its mouth. Kind of terrifying, but kind of neat too. So that's the bottom of the cephalothorax.